Hello and welcome to this quick sketch of different types of greenhouses and how they approach cooling brought to you by Biotherm. As you know, uh, greenhouses get hot, uh, hence the term greenhouse effect. All the solar radiation is trapped inside of the greenhouse um, and heats up the interior atmosphere. So in order to keep the environment exactly where you want it, uh, you need to be able to control that temperature. And the simplest way to do that is to allow the hot air to escape and to bring in cooler air from the external environment. Uh, this is an example of a ridge vent, a natural ventilation greenhouse. Another option is a negative pressure greenhouse where the exhaust fans on the near end of the greenhouse will pull air out of the greenhouse and that creates a negative pressure inside drawing air in through the far wall. If the Air, external air is a little bit cooler than the internal air. This will obviously cool the internal environment. Also, it's typical to see uh, evaporation pad on the far wall so that you can get a few extra degrees of cooling. Another option is a positive pressure greenhouse, just the reverse. It creates a higher pressure inside the greenhouse than outside and you can also add a fogging system to um, increase to, to increase cooling um, or a pad system similar to the negative pressure. But in this design, the fans would push air through the evaporation pad. Uh, another way to do it is to have the fans or the pads outside the fans and have the fans pull air through the evaporation pads. This also would you know, exclude pests. A closed greenhouse is rarely seen, but this would be where there's no ventilation at all. The air is simply recirculated. It comes out of vent, goes back in through a fan. Um, you, These larger fan boxes indicate a cooling system that's connected to an exterior chiller to help maintain the set point temperatures. The semi-closed greenhouse um, uses that same system, but also takes advantage of exterior air when the humidity and temperature of that air is helpful to achieving the set points inside the greenhouse. Sort of the best of both world scenario. And that can be applied to the, the other design styles that we've seen. Um, you can use your positive pressure system when the outside air is conducive to your desired set points or turn it off and use a air handling unit a mechanical system when that's appropriate. Same thing for negative pressure. You can run that when the outside air is helpful to what you're trying to achieve inside. And when it's not, just shut it off and use the mechanical system. Thanks for checking out this little slideshow. Feel free to give us a call for more information, biotherm solutions.com.